Hey everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and you guys requested how to make the bass from the track Angels by Simula. So this is the original track. And these are the bases that we're going to be making. Now, even though I know they're not exactly the same, except for this first one. In the second one, we have all the techniques that create that, that really sharp movement. And I think this video holds enough value for you to extract those principles so you can create your own instruments. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch and first we're going to be making this sound. So this sound is actually very simple. The only thing we're going to be doing is holding a low E note like that. And then we're going to be loading sine waves on each oscillator like this. And the next we're going to map a specific harmonic on oscillator B. We're going to be adding the harmonic number six, bring the fundamental down and bring this up. And then we're going to add an extra two harmonics on the sides. So it has more frequencies that we can use in something like distortion. And next we're going to be mapping an LFO into the level of this layer. And we're going to be setting the rate to 16 triplets. So it has that oscillation. And next we're going to go into the effects tab and add a down sample distortion. That adds the upper harmonics. And now it's all about fine tuning this. In this case, around 20% is the sweet spot. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use an EQ to boost the high harmonics. So now we have the first sound. Cool. The last thing that you can do is maybe add a reverb tail. For example, use an envelope like this and add the reverb at the end of the sound like that. So it can be really cool. And this is it for the first sound. Now let's talk about the second sound. Okay, so the second sound is separated into layers. First, I have the laser FM layer for the initial transition of the sound. And then I have another layer that also does a similar movement. But at the end, it contains the last harmonics, similar to the reference. So let's take a look at how to build both layers. First, let's start with this one, because both together create that really sharp movement. But this is the harsher one. So let's create this layer. OK, so here I have an initial patch. And the principle behind this type of movement is to have two saw waves that affirm each other like this. And then boost the second saw wave three octaves up and use this saw wave as a modulator for FM. So let's turn on FM from B. And we can see how if we go very, very high, we have very sharp screechy frequencies that if we map an LFO into this and we change the rate, set our envelope and create a falling shape, we can create that sharp movement. And then the next thing will be to fine tune the final harmonics of the sound. So you can create sort of like a melody, which is really, really cool. All right, so once we have this movement, we can just use this as a layer, or we can experiment with it a little bit. For example, we can change all of this to sine waves and map different harmonics here, which can work but you will need to keep experimenting with the octaves. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and only use the saw waves, which gives us really cool results. And as you can see, you can spend so much time fine tuning this modulation that I think it's more useful to just share the principle that creates the sound instead of giving you a specific shape that you have to recreate. Now you can experiment with this and create your own sound. 
So for post-processing or for effects inside of Serum, the only thing that I use is some hyperdimension multiband compression to make the sound even sharper, and then a filter that is a low pass and that I can automate its cutoff and its resonance to go up at the end of the sound. Something like this. So as you can see, this, you will find the same harmonics that create the sound, which can be really, really cool. A tip that I would give to you is to copy this LFO, hold Alt and map it into LFO3, and this will copy the same shape that you had, and then replace this modulation with this new LFO. And then you can just fine tune this. Until it gives you the sound that you want. As you can see, you can experiment for long periods of time. Cool. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and just do a falling shape like this and bring the resonance down. That's it. Next, we're just going to add some chorus and reverb. And then add an EQ at the end of this chain. We can cut the sub. And reduce some of the very harsh higher end. Or we can increase it. It depends on what your mix needs. In this case, I'm going to cut it a little bit. And now for the next layer, the only thing that we're going to do is to copy the same patch. But instead of using saw waves, we're going to use sine waves, a very specific sine wave that can be found in the digital area of the wavetables under the harmonic series wavetable. And we're going to use frame number seven. And on the effects, we're just going to use a soft clipping instead of tube distortion. And the filter actually gets modulated by LFO number one here. And now to get a different tone here, we modulate the semitone range. As we can see right here, I boost it up. So this, it's one more way of adding an extra layer of movement in the harmonics of the sound. And these are the principles that create sounds like this. So again, I know it's not exactly the same sound, but I think this video contains all the techniques that you need to get started on sounds like this. So I wish you luck on your sound design. If you want to support the NB Academy, don't forget to get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.